type 1 diabetes, also referred to as a juvenile diabetes, is an autoimmune disorder. Patient's own immune cells destroys insulin-producing beta cells, which are responsible for coordinating the use of glucose in the human body. The insulin deficiency results in uncontrolled blood glucose, which then leads to type 1 diabetes. I have personally witnessed and experienced the ordeal of a patient with a diabetes and its devastating complications. My name is Dr. Bhushan Karbikar and I am a postdoctoral scholar in Professor Tejal Desai's lab in the Department of Bioengineering and Therapeutic Sciences at the University of California in San Francisco. Over more than a decade, our lab is working towards developing treatments for type 1 diabetes. In the past two decades, beta cell transplant emerged as a very promising strategy for treating type 1 diabetes and achieving insulin independence. But this therapy is limited due to donor shortage. The immune attack at the implant site leads to frequent graft failures. Patients require lifelong immunosuppressive drugs, which also make them susceptible to heightened risk of infection, cancer, and organ damage. To circumvent these challenges, the possible solution could be the use of cell encapsulation technology to implant stem cell-derived beta cells. This encapsulation device should ideally prevent immune cells from entering the capsule and killing the islets but allow oxygen and nutrients from the blood to feed the encapsulated beta cells. It should also allow insulin secreted by the islets to leave the capsule in response to change in glucose levels. While encapsulation devices, to a large extent, are successful in preventing an immune attack, the present generation devices restrict the blood vessels from reaching the encapsulated beta cells. It leads to nutrient deficiency, oxygen starvation, loss of function, and beta cell death. The patient loses nearly 70 to 80 percent of the graft in the first week of implantation. So, if we implant the islets freely, they get a proper nutrition and function well, but attacked and killed by the body's own immune system. And if you want to protect the cells from the immune attack with the help of an encapsulation device, we end up starving them to death. Here, we are in a cash 22 situation. Therefore, my research is focused on resolving this deadlock and bringing the best of both the worlds. We hope to resolve this deadlock with our novel engraftment strategy with the biomimetic design of our bioengineered pancreas. We understand that in the healthy individual, the beta cell survives and functions very well in the pancreas in the natural environment. Taking inspiration from it, I am mimicking the natural habitat for the beta cells in our bioengineered pancreas. We hope that it will not only improve the long-term survival, but also greatly improve the functional performance of an implanted engineered islet graft. It is important to note that our bioengineered pancreas can also be transplanted under the skin in an outpatient procedure. I believe that the anticipated outcome of my research would lead to a significant leap towards clinical translation of the beta cell replacement therapy for a patient with type 1 diabetes. The SciLab and the UCSF are pleased to partner with Diabetes Research Connection in advancing our research. As we move forward, I'll keep my audience posted with the progress we are making towards realizing this technology. We appreciate your help and support. Stay tuned. Thank you.